it's insanity, insanity. We can't have hospitals running indefinitely on generators. I mean, how, do you, how can you even imagine that people in ICU, people in need, people on ventilators, people in their homes that are, you know, it's just, I just don't even know. You know, it's, it's, that is for these professionals to resolve, you know, and that is for them to figure it out. But you cannot have hospitals on the island indefinitely running on generators. They're either gonna burn out or there's gonna be no fuel. That is not realistic and that is not a solution. You know, it's a short-term solution. It's not a solution. So it is, you know, access to, to drinkable water. I mean, there's, that's not happening right now. More than half of the, 75% of the island still doesn't have access to water. And then the electricity. It's, it, you know, it's, it's not, it's just, um, just something that is, you know, it's just out of this world. It's out of this world. It's not receiving the attention, uh, the insane president in the White House focusing on issues that are trivial in comparison to the lives of 3.5 million Americans. I just can't, you know, I, I don't see any sense of urgency from anyone. Has there been discussions in the Congress of the relief, uh, you know, of, of how much money are we gonna get from Congress? The fact that they won't waive the Jones Act, I don't get that. It was waived for, for Texas, it was waived for Florida, why isn't it being waived for Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands?